prices. <sighs> Nagging concern the Fed will push interest rates higher to curb inflation, offset a jump in oil shares. This is really, wait, let me take this out and put this back in again because it's going bananas. All right. Nagging concern the Fed will push interest rates higher to curb inflation, offset a jump in oil shares. Dow Industrials, which seesawed through most of the session, managed to finish higher. Ah! Wait a minute. Not good. Oh no. Wait. Nagging concern the Fed will push interest rates higher to curb inflation, offset a jump in oil shares. The Dow Industrials, which seesawed through most of the session, managed to finish slightly higher, up almost two points at 36.63. Am I leaning too much forward or it's all right? No. Is the level okay? Or you need more? All right. The rally here just made oil stocks more attractive. Chevron rallied as Solomon upgraded its rating to a buy. Long-term interest rates climbed for a second straight day as concern persisted. Just want to get set. Okay. Well, this is weird. Okay, let's try it. Nagging concern the Fed will push interest rates higher to curb inflation, offset a jump in oil shares. The Dow Industrials, which seesawed through most of the session, managed to finish slightly higher, up almost two points at 36. Okay. Say what? Nagging concern the Fed will push interest rates higher to curb inflation, offset a jump in oil shares. The Dow, which seesawed through most of the session, managed to finish slightly higher, up almost two points at 3663.25. The broader market measures finished mixed. Crude oil prices jumped sharply on news of the downing of two U.S. helicopters in northern Iraq. May crude finished at 16.23 a barrel. The rally here just made oil stocks more attractive. Chevron rallied as Solomon upgraded its rating to a buy. Long-term interest rates climbed for a second straight day as concern persisted that signs of robust growth will cause the Fed to raise rates for the third time this year. There's quite a bit of anticipation about the Fed's release of reports on factory output and manufacturing capacity for March. In late trading, the yield on the benchmark 30-year bond was at 7.29 percent. Economists surveyed by Bloomberg Business News forecast a six-tenths of a percent rise in factory output. Shares of Ford accelerated as the nation's number two automaker released details of its plan to sell its money-losing first nationwide subsidiary. Ford also announced it would buy the remainder of Hertz, and its board has authorized a two-for-one stock split and increased the dividend on its common stock. Intel took a big hit on news of IBM's five-year agreement with Cirrix to make and sell x86 microprocessors, which compete directly with Intel's chips. Prudential has cut its rating on Intel to hold. IBM and Cirrix both finished higher. Analysts say technology stocks are starting to look very attractive after the sell-off earlier in the week. Soundview Financial has raised its rating on Adobe Systems to a buy. Lotus Development rallied on news that it's considering a stock split. At the Bloomberg Forum, we spoke with Stuart Hoffman, chief economist at PNC Bank. Hoffman believes the reason the Fed is pushing interest rates up is because of the concern that inflation will rise in 95. Overall, he thinks this year will be economically sound. GDP growth. What about 1994? I think Hoffman expects the rise in interest rates to continue in the near term. For First Business, I'm Catherine Oliver, Bloomberg Business News, New York.
Ford is...